what I have realized about the church is that we have embraced the grace of God and then in the embracing we have abused the grace of God. We have taken the weightier matters and the sacred obligations of the things of God and we have trampled it under our feet. God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Had it not been for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who went on the cross and gave himself as a ransom for us for our salvation and redemption. As a matter of fact why will somebody need redemption when you are already free? It means that you were condemned to death. God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. That is why we can bring oil from India and sell it 15,000 Ghana city and call it a Beifosro. Ne Christophone to the Echiri. Om the Nipa Kujina Bola Sunia Jareno. Om the Nipa Kujina Sienu Mujare. Who be here near the Sradia Srani Nufo in the name of Aquanchire. Once you miss the light, you are going into the darkness. The wages of sin is death. And unti 26, no me 25, no me 18, no me 19, no me Hey! God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Don't bring useless traditions into the church because the simplicity of the gospel is beautiful. Don't bring any cumbersome excesses and emphasis that does not help anybody. The moment you rebuke them. Then they begin to quote things like, we are under grace and not under law. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, God will judge you. God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Say yeah! 